Hello guys, so you're probably here because you updated your ESP devices and they just stop working, you get end of file errors or the device looks brick. Now I'll show you here how to back up the device firmware in the device before updating the ESP home just in case you can flash it back and how to get back the version of the ESP home he was working on in case you don't have any backup of the add-on or of the firmware itself. So let's start by having a look at the devices. You see we have we are now on we are now on ESP home version 4.2 there is an update 5.2 but before updating let's have a look if we go to devices ESP home let's choose one this one you see the sensor works perfectly now this is a multi-sensor device which I made uh, there is a video about this this is an ESP 8266 with a DF robot millimeter wave SN0395 uh, I think it's got a BME 680 as a temperature humidity and air quality and also has a BH1750 as a illuminance sensor and now you see everything was perfect the firmware uh, into the sensor is flashed with version 4.2 now if I dis disconnect the device that's it, it's connected it's almost instant you see all the sensor works perfectly now if we go to ESP home so let's say you have this update just before you do this update we know that it's working perfectly what we do you get a you make a backup of this device so, you, so to backup you edit you click on install you click on manual download now this will compile the the code into the firmware and you will generate a bin file like you can see in here we'll see later what we do with that now if we go to the add-ons you see we have an update in here we are now on 4.2 there is a 5.2 update let's update and see what happens okay so we just updated if we well, yeah we just updated if we go back to ESP home now you see we have updates in here let's update this sensor and see what happens click on install I'm gonna leave this compiling so you can see all the errors I get when after flashing the device Okay, so now he's doing it. Okay. I'm 
the port is rebooting and that's it end of file error end of file error it doesn't work now the board is connected to the Wi-Fi you see it's online and we, if we go and check the device it doesn't work I can turn it off turn it on again let's see what happens I don't think anything is gonna happen that's it it's dead now it's not gonna boot okay trust me I've tried this before so the only way to get it back is to flash back the 4.2 version or any of the ESP version 4 now if you have a backup like me I, change, I can just go back to the version 4 let's assume that we don't have a backup because we've made the backup before of the bin file remember we can flash that one now let me connect the board to the computer with a USB cable and I'll show you how to do that okay now if you go to the ESP home web page click on connect okay let's see okay so we have in here USB COM 13 install choose the file now this is the bin file we created earlier install now this will erase the card uh, the ESP 8266 and we'll write back the firmware we just downloaded earlier okay so we flashed the device now if I connect it back let's go back to home assistant let's see you see the device is already online let me connect the sensors you see it's already working okay so what is the other option if you don't have this backup the other way to restore this let me restart the board okay so is everything working now let's say you don't have any backups how do you get it working now this is simple you go to this repository and you copy this link I'll put the link in the description now go back to your home assistant go back to settings so go to add-ons click on add-on store and now look for ESP home okay you see you have the official ones in here and then you have this legacy ESP home version repository we just added before and you see you have a lot of versions in here to choose from for the version 4 we have 4.2 we have a version 2.2 we have a version 3.2 what else we have for 2024 okay so we have this three version for 2024 
I know the 4.2 works well with me with my sensor so I'm gonna click on this one and I'm just gonna click install Okay, I'm gonna click start now. And now if we go back to the add-ons, you see we have the ESP Home, the official one, which is still version 5.2. And then we have the legacy one, which is version 4.2. Now you click on this one, and you click you after you start it, and you click on web UI. If it gives you an error, just give it a second, it's not started yet. After you start it, click on edit. Just have just make sure you are on the version you selected. Choose on edit, click on install, click on wireless or whatever connection you choose. You see it's now compiling with version 4.2. This will probably take a minute. Okay, so now it's finished. Let's see if we still get the end of file errors. You see, no errors. Connected successfully. And if we go to have a look, not here. If we go and have a look here, here, perfect. You see? Works beautifully. So this was a short video how to get your devices back online in case you updated the USB ESP home and they stop working. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, find it useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.